What was once a bush somewhere along Entebbe Road is now a satellite city. A great Kakungulu estate with modern buildings crisscrossed by a paved road network.
skin when they use the thumbs, you don't you don't need to put it up. So you want to see the the the, the, the Ugandan concept of the city. So the only thing is to go back to my prayer room and say, "Sir, work at home." So what am I saying? That they, they are able to do a lot of innovations depending on what they find. Really bad. 
we are still here once in a while we want to guide what we have dreamt about mm. particularly in terms of keeping your standards when you look at the, the road the roads we we left huge roads you have seen some are told meters wide the minimum is seven meters but you find the people who are so greedy that they would like to build closer to mm -hmm. the stone mm -hmm. yet we had said mm -hmm. we did yes, sir. this but yes, sir. now the community you can see some buying to it so they yes, also yes, you sir. hear them harassing those who want to do yeah. uh, 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 so you, you, you are now reaching the level of self-policing by the community. Thank you very much. And, and, and that one, uh, we celebrate it. Because if we had remained in charge, in charge. there are many things we would have missed. Yeah. That energy, innovation. We have now the ninth president. We've been change, changing. For us, we consider that a big, big achievement. Governance. The second one is on infrastructure. When people, one of the reasons we, we tried local governments to look for a, uh, a status of the town or a ward, when we scrutinized what it means, it meant that we are going to allow Tom, Dick, and Harry to vote the leaders. Because, uh, because the, the local government allows that mm -hmm. whether you are a border, border rider, a house guard, the landlord, you choose the leaders. But here the leadership is chosen by the landlords and the tenants. People who can have particular interest in the development yeah. of this place. Yeah. Not because some, someone is popular, someone is what. So, we, we put it aside. Let us remain with our six LOC ones controlling us. No problem. They mm. elect their leaders. Mm. But for us, we elect our own special team to, to look after our interests. Interest. I was going to tell you about infrastructure. While the, the other ones are crying to get a water protected these springs, we are looking for a fiber optic cable. Mm. When they are talking about to asking for a road to work on the we are talking about to the, the turn off on the super highway. Mm. Be, because our desires are a little bit different and higher in terms of uh, uh, interest. The, you cannot bring someone to talk about uh, protection of uh, a, a water source. It, it might be difficult to know what you mean by dying to get a fiber optic cable in your environment. So, so this governance matter has helped us to remain focused on the big picture of the future. The second thing that has made us... I, I should even have started it as number one. God doing it for the road. But sometimes we take things for granted that they are cut on. No, 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 no. Once he knows you are doing it for his glory, he, gro he will make it happen. I'll tell you, this golf course, the way we go to Zay to buy this land, oh, it was divine power. Because here we were, we owed him money in his bank. But at the same time, uh, 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 you know when someone owes you money, you can't run out, you actually want him to be closer to you. So we became friends. <laughs> but in the process we said, by the way, Kariaka Banja Karum Banka, can we pay to, and you come and invest here? in the golf course. The man has powered billions. Now, if you went to look for an investor from America to invest here, he would first come and ask, who is your grandfather? Have you, uh, when the old, and then you don't fulfill. So, so one asks, how were you able to get that opportunity that when you want to sell a, a land for the golf course, there is somebody you already have a connection with. Yeah. with dedicate that to God, uh -huh. including Chogam. Chogam visits the country once in a very long time. Yeah. When it was coming is when we convinced you people in the government to give us a road that uh, connects the dust here. But supposing Chogam was not there, maybe it would have been difficult. Look at this, your visit. It is good. 
members, allow me to tell you how I met my brother here to arrange this meeting. And please allow me to say, <laughs> I am away. It had rained. I am going to see Martha, your colleague, because we sit on the same board somewhere and so I wanted to sign for me something. But I find her busy. I wait outside like a good citizen. As I am standing there, my brother appears. We talk, we talk, we talk. We say, please come. And you here? Now, you are here not because I had gone to look for him to, to, to arrange this meeting. God arranged it in such a way that I meet him, and then we talk about it, and he accepts. So for me, for us, we believe that the divine power has been responsible for a lot of what has happened here. And, and therefore, if one asked what would be your number one reason why this has happened, has succeeded, me I would use the divine power first. The rest can follow. That time of, what, there was a lady whose husband we had been together at school. He was with him in O level. I was with him in A level. The husband of a lady who was working in Unura. When, and she was the one planning this. We said, please put for us here. Why? There are 5,000 homes we have planned for this city. 5,000, uh, they are the plots we had cut. But you now see that there are plots that can even accommodate more than uh, 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 many homes. <coughs> Meaning there would be like 8,000 homes. On average, every home has two cars. So we call it 15,000 cars that every day come out, will be coming out of this place and coming in. That's money for the, the road. The woman said over my dead body. We said, why? No, 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 no. That's a private car. We said, how private is this place? When homes are owned by individuals, it can never be private anymore. Horolo, is it owned by one person? No. How come you take roads there? It is a public place because each one owns his property. The, the only thing was that there was somebody who organized that. But when it came to individuals, so you are going to miss money from 15,000 cars just because of uh, over my dead body. But you see what God has done. Uh, 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 someone now, uh, Eris is in that office, and he, for him he finds that it is <coughs> economic to have this connection. Uh, I could never, I can't associate that with anything else other than divine power. So, so we've been lucky, but you can't be lucky forever if you don't continue uh, uh, cultivating over ponder uh, like to remove weeds. One of the weeds we have is that we do not have all the money to, to do the infrastructure. We must work with the government. No one should tell you that we would have produced this without the government. Who would, where would we have gotten 3.3 .3 billion that Ministry of Finance passed on to Ministry of Works for the road to be done? Where? Why are we going to get over seven billion to do over seven million dollars to do that they, they, they have put uh, uh, cameras, security cameras all over. Government. They have put water. That water was put at high cost. Although we had to follow up. For us our job, follow up. Yeah. But but government brings. So the point comes and we say, and he's our head of communication and ICT. He has been promoting the usage of, of cyber. Today we vote online. I, I congratulated him when I saw us. People had voted on an idea. They wanted us to raise money to work on our infrastructure. And the only way was to do it online. And I saw participation, I said, I congratulated him. So it means that we are reaching the level where we can do things we have been dreaming about. But then when you have done all that, but when the government is talking in New, in New York, about what has been done in urban development. They are talking only about what they have done in Iraq to give them uh, uh, a status of a city. Meanwhile, they have invested heavily here. So why would they need to now be one of them and they say, here is our baby. So that tomorrow when there is a, someone who wants to do, to, to, uh, to perfect his idea of cyber city, he says, no, government already has something there. Uh, 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 when primary, when the uh, Ministry of Education is giving their report, they say X number of uh, students went through private schools, X number f uh, uh, public schools. I would wish to see in the Ministry of Urban Development where they say, government, 
public uh, leader falling under government was done. But there was also the one falling under uh, uh, a private accord, uh, right? Uh, and, 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 and so, so basically, uh, of course, sometimes I talk too much and I apologize. Of course, I was waiting that somebody is bringing food. But his so how do you maintain the roads? The road. You have had when you were voting, mm -hmm. we were looking for money to maintain those roads. But we have been so lucky that we still go through government. You can't beat government. No one, not even America, where they say private sector leads in involvement. No single company has involved without government. Bill Gates with his Microsoft, if he did not sell his service to government, they would never have developed that level. So <coughs> what do we do? We go to local government, we use all the ones, we, 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 we beg them, they give us equipment. But we buy fewer, pay workers. That's why Shaka was looking that is for the PPP. PPP. The PPP? Yeah. Exactly. But only when we are talking about PPP is when a, a certain Chinese has come and then you sign deals. No, this is a practical PPP. So you have, do you have like a monthly income per house? Well, it is what he was asking. He had wanted 700 and he refused it. Now he has put it at 500. Shillings? Uh, 500,000 per, per, per year, year per, per family. Per year. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yes. But there is a, a formula we started which is uh, giving us good results. When they come to work near the, your house, then people tend to get more interested. So we use those machines to help us to attract money from people. Because when they are working near your house, you tend to pay. Yeah, you really fail. Yeah. But when you say, collect <coughs> money, collect money, and when they don't see work going home, yeah. they don't bring. Mm -hmm. But as soon as machines are working, when they, they post that the, the machine is on this road, you see people on that road paying the money. Mm -hmm. That is one uh, thing that uh, I would like to, to kind of share with you as the department. Uh, this is a proposal. We've not talked about it, but it has just come. If, if you put in your budget as a department for urban development, a road equipment, and you put it in your control, and you went to, uh, for example, trading center of Kanon, where I come from in Kazo, and you say, guys, did you say you want a town council? Yes. Okay. Show us where you would want us to open the roads, and then you do it the way it is written in the law. Let me tell you, everyone will know your department exists. But also they will respect you, you, your ideas because you are doing something that uh, helps them yeah. individually. The way the Kajas has a, a joy. Because for them, once they get the machines and bring them here, they are ever busy. Yeah. They have just given us carpets. They brought the things and put them there. Now he's mobilizing money so that we employ people to dig the hole and put the carpets. In the report, they are going to say, ah, in this part of, uh, yeah, uh, we, we deliver the carpets and they are fixed very well, and the auditors will come and find them fixed. In the report, they will perform, they will have performed, but they have performed because of uh, uh, that uh, synergy, yes, the partnership. Yeah. So that's why we are dying. Oh, about, uh, in a space where the communities perceive it as an uh, open space. And, uh, community really grows up, that particular community and brought the issue to the fiscal planning board. And I think I recall who was in one of the meetings we had at the ministry. So I, I, did, I really want to agree that there is really good governance in the, in the area. Uh, like citizens are out, if there is something wrong going on, they cannot just cannot sit and going. keep quiet. Everyone will rise up and say what is going on. Yeah. But then, um, it seems like from the plan, yeah, a few, 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 few services. Me, yeah, I'm interested in schools and hospitals. We saw there's a primary school, right? Um, for a place to be complete, I. I there should be uh, a secondary school and maybe a university. So that one now zeroes on what Emma was talking about. What is your vision? Do you think of putting up such services for, for, for people within the community to enjoy other than taking their 
children to far, far, far places like maybe Kampala or Kevin. Yeah. Maybe uh, before it comes in, uh, of course, when you look at uh, some of these uh, services, yes. there is uh, what we call a threshold population. You have already answered. Uh, yes. You need uh, a certain population mm. to be able to sustain mm. some of these facilities. Mm. Uh, in my view, maybe the upright city may have a challenge of that threshold. Uh, population uh, concept. However, uh, one of the things that uh, he brought in, the aspect of a planning with the neighborhood. Yes. Because uh, not all of these facilities should be fit. within the city. Mm. But you may find that there is a secondary school in the neighborhood. There's a primary school in the neighborhood. What the management here can do is to liaise with that school, work together with that school, and make sure the level of service delivery that is being offered at that school matches, matches our standards. your standards. So that uh, you are able to, 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 to work in partnership with the, the neighbors and other neighboring institutions. Because for instance, even in the planning, when, when we are planning, you may actually find that there is a facility outside the administrative boundary, for instance, of a particular town. You do not need to plan the same school. You, you do not need to plan a school inside the boundary, and yet uh, these services can be accessed. So I think even with the with the, 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 the upright, uh, we only needed to, 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 to check that level of partnership so that the people, your residents, are comfortable. The children can go to school yeah. nearby, uh, you know, a hospital or a clinic somewhere within. Uh, we saw the church, you know, those kind of uh, facilities. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the, <coughs> I, I just hijacked. Hey, you you, but you've done it so well. You <laughs> see, that Alex, bare Alex, minimum of you, the population. You, before you come in, I know you combine everything since you said you can. <laughs> and I know you from that <laughs> background. Mm. Now, uh, the commission has also looked at it from the other um, angle but also the neighborhood should also appreciate, I don't know what kind of services they enjoy that are within our, so that they feel comfortable in that uh, working relationship. Uh, that one is also uh, important uh, in that direction. Then maybe I need to really master the, the planning scheme you showed us, whether we have vast uh, reserved land for future development, because as the population grows. That, that land, we never bought it. We, we, ne we were not the managers of that land. We, we did not show you another church to the eastern side. Mm. The one we are at is for Anglicans. Mm. The one at uh, uh, the beginning there is for the, the Catholics. We were not the ones who owned that land. But the existence of this community they, they, they are the ones who have now gone there to build those churches. If you had seen the churches that were there, they were very innocent. But now the, 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 the impact here has gone to benefit them. So when you are asking whether, how do they benefit from our existence, already you have seen the practical ones. That's why as we sit on their boards to plan, then we remember what we have not done here, and we put it there. For example, I showed you that uh, seven acres of the church has been uh, leased to an investor who is putting up a school. Before we could approve his uh, application, he had first come up with the plan of the school he's going to put there. Like I told you, we benchmarked it with Kampara parents in Kampara. And we said, if you can't meet that standard, 
keep your school. Mm -hmm. Why? Because now we have the population that can <coughs> feed, uh, can can uh, match, yeah. can pay, can meet that expectation. Yeah. One was asking, why haven't you built a, a shopping mall? Why? We said a shopping mall, you must have the numbers. But by God's grace, we had planned where to put the shopping mall. And we had already gotten someone to invest there. One of the advantages that we have is that uh, we picked the most brilliant people in the planning class that time. So they could help us to remember this. We put it where. So you, we might not have open big chunks of land for expansion, but we have what everything can fit. A shopping mall, uh, there are four acres. It is here. We don't have 20, but at least four are there. A school, it is there. A, a hospital, it is there. And what I, I talk with happiness and confidence is that there is no single plot that failed to get a market. What could have failed us to get market was supposed to be this valley. Yeah? But somebody invested in a golf course so therefore, we are able to keep this in nature because not many people would have money to invest in nature. But for us, we got someone to invest where he can make money, but nature is also preserved. So, not big chunks, but whatever is available, enough. My chairman, you can add, I know that you like it. There is something I, I have to mention which you like most about beauty, cleanliness, and flowers, and, and, and tourism. As I maybe also to add on to the schools, as we were up there, we pointed at some schools. One of the huge buildings that you saw was uh, St. Marcelino. It's a free primary school. Then St. Marcelino feeds up to St. Louis. St. Louis has a branch of uh, primary one of the just the buildings are here. Then another one up to E7, just uh, behind those trees. That is the primary school. We have others like visiting that have been here. And uh, secondary schools, as we said, have been following up the advertisements of uh, Elite School. And they're saying Elite Accurate. So in one or the other, it is attached to the class. <coughs> then we do have uh, St. Joseph down there, which is attached to the, to the church. As we said, the, all of those churches belong um, uh, under us. Not only that, I had with interest that uh, these businessmen see where the gap is. And I was brainstorming with Ham, and he told me that he is going to build an international school, an international university here in Akwai City. I'd rather know if you have turned the page, if you go faster than I do. So clear just what I am to you. Am I friend? Am I lover? Do we still need each other? When you touch me, when you touch me, baby, I can Each other when you hold me, when you hold me.
Now you are going to bring that campus of mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, draw a picture when uh, uh, there is a problem and mm -hmm. yet it's a government yeah. entity. Yeah. Yeah. So if if Kajansi town council uh, and as we've already said, sometimes you can be seated here but you don't even uh, remember that there is that uh, potential problem of uh, the sewer system. So all homes here are on uh, uh, um, septic tanks. On site. But that is a very uh, time, it's, it's a big time it's bomb. Yes. It's Imagine if uh, all this area had to work on uh, a, a central sewer system. Mm. Then you are talking. True. But that can only work when there is a like a, a, a guy, a, 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 a principal guiding person. Mm. So when you see us coming to you, Mr. Commissioner, yeah. we are looking at you as our guide. You are the one to call Kajansi and say, you, let us think about uh, a, a sewer system. Uh, 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 when uh, the people are planning government uh, uh, offices uh, from the one yes, go, we are looking at this area. Yes, yes. yes. I'm looking at uh, four potential growth points that can be joined together. And uh, that means that my plan is quite simple. I should look at them supplementing each other. Exactly. People who live here, where such do they that, work? Such as that the decision made at campus <coughs> affects mm -hmm. the decision made at uh, ECHO satellites. Uh -huh. affects you. Or complement. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey. Mm. Yes. Because now you are talking of interchange there. Yeah. There is also an interchange there. Yeah. And we are even looking at uh, planning a uh, light rail yes. to serve the air capacity. So now, how about making a, nickel, a, a light rail coming around? To, to, yes. uh -huh. exactly, to serve all yes. these. So mm. that's why the, I, I think it, you will enjoy it when you okay. embark on it. I, 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 we are currently doing a fiscal government plan of the territory. I think we need to pick the interest in the and we shall invite we shall, we shall you. Thank you very much. Yes. Such yeah. that we look at uh, strategically how is this position, this growth. Exactly. Uh, yes. That. Okay. Because you see, uh, so that plan is being uh, funded by African government, by, by, uh, by uh, But you see, now the bank has, has learned a way whereby plan an infrastructure that is a potential for it to invest in because <coughs> no banks now in, they have to invest in infrastructure that we call multi so the infrastructure that will impact on this area is a potential project for the one of the Oh, yes. Where can exactly. But also where you get from here yes. to connect to the other places. <coughs> now you have seen all our homes were planned in such a way that if we wanted to do a, a, a sewer system, they, they only need, because we have like 
at a, you used to call it what? A gogo, yeah, the, that it, yeah, three year old. Y yes, that road, which is, is fed by all these uh, roads. Meaning that all homes on this line can bring their sewer, it comes down on the, the one which is uh, coming down. So, uh, which means therefore that if you plan the a sewer system somewhere, there is already a network to support that. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, we take a picture so that I don't... As, as we got to take the picture, yes. I wanted just to tell them about to add on Kajansi relationship. Three days from today, Kajansi Town Council will introduce uh, property taxes to our city. And they would wish to start tapping in uh, the next one month from now. So, it is scratch my back, scratch your back. We need yes. the services yes. from them. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, these people here are willing uh, <coughs> to you pay for the property pay, taxes. You say no. uh, <laughs> but uh, we need uh, also services from uh, them. And also, when you look at the principle of property tax, mm -hmm. property tax is supposed to, to improve, to improve yeah, yeah. the properties so the that they keep areas yeah, yeah. Yeah. collecting it from. Yes. So that one is one of the entrance points. Yes. By saying, we are paying, but we yes, you collected it this much. Yes. yes. What did you use it for? Exactly. <laughs> Accountability. Yes. Uh, and maybe one thing I have uh, identified: this place is quite hilly and it is prone to floods and erosion. Maybe one thing you should also task the town council is to draw up a the drainage master plan so that it can accommodate whatever we are about. Yeah. You are very right. See, a person executive, you might want to be the one to give a vote of thanks. Yes, but a chairman of New World, before she gives a, a, a vote of thanks, would you want to? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Commissioner and the team, for visiting us today here in our city. Um, everything that you have said, we appreciate and uh, we are aware that uh, if we are working together, we are going to make this a green city that is sustainable, that gives Uganda a good name and uh, ensures a better future for our country. Thank you very much from the people of Akrat. We appreciate it. I tell you, Minister, our ICT, that means that uh, tonight everyone will know what has happened today. Uh, uh, you, you studied with some, you are the one who planned this place, just a word from you, and then we conclude. Oh yeah, thank you, Chairman, and thank you, Commissioner. We are so grateful that, uh, me too, I'm also so grateful that I participated in the exercise of uh, planning our crate. When we came here, this place was infected with monkeys, with hyenas that would come in the morning, and I find my office is infected with uh, monkey things, monkey things. <laughs> but as you can speak now, you have seen a transformation. If you can call what happened earlier and what is happening today, it has a big impact on tomorrow. So I believe that tomorrow is a better tomorrow. And uh, as he says, our grandchildren, we are leaving a name that surely this a an economic transformation from a rural setup to now an urban setup, which has a garden city concept. Everything is there. This is a village environment, this is a city environment. So this is a holistic way of accommodating everyone in this system that everyone will enjoy and have an everlasting life for now and tomorrow. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Uh, as you read that book, the, the, the one below, uh -huh, you know that a lot of it came from this man's name. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, 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 Pastor, you are going to pray for us as we leave. But he was, uh, he was the chairman of one of the villages. Yes. Now he, uh, you would want to. Yes, he was. Uh, he handed yes. over to him. Thank you, chairman. Yes. And I see you are Me, uh, basically, it's not. Uh, being a firstborn son of the CEO makes me really happy and humble to be uh, with you here today and to have witnessed what has happened today. They, 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 like three months ago, before we went to the election, we had a, a audio meeting with the LOC of Kajazi Town Council. And they, 
maybe we shared the things we shared here at the high level, but the the basics around the the guidance of how we're supposed to get there. So I'm very happy that we have had the introduction and the digestion of really what where what we have to go. So with those few remarks, uh, thank you very much for this. Thank you. So here, yes. Commissioner and all protocols observed. We are very grateful to have come to our community to contribute to our development. We, are, we have the will, we have the zeal to take Accra to the next level and to make Accra a sun city or like other, other cities around the world. So for us, we, we are willing, we, are, we have a vision and we are willing to go with our vision, dream, father, that's what we call him because is one who came up with this vision with this Akamkama and we want to take it to a better place. So with you coming into this place means a lot that you are willing to go with us through this journey and make Accra a better city than most of the beautiful cities in Uganda. So thank you for coming and we know we are going to have a very good partnership to make this place better. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please, Pastor, uh, you and we go and take a picture. We allow our guests. Yeah, thank you, Bona Commissioner and team again. Mm. I'm uh, uh, not the official pastor of Arkwright, but I'm the pastor anyway. <laughs> and I happen to be on this table. Uh, but one thing that I know that the Bible says uh, when you delight yourself in the Lord, He gives you the desires of your heart. And a lot has been said here today. There's a lot of our desires that we would love to achieve, to accomplish uh, with you, the technical people from the ministry. But we know we cannot do that unless we put it in the hands of the Lord. <coughs> so we're just going to pray along those lines that, Father, you help every idea that has been discussed on this table this afternoon to come to fruition, that everything that we do, our Lord, we cannot separate you from our plan because this you makes everything to be established. Thank you for the great men and women who have come here today to help us realize this dream and take it further for our children, for our homes, for this great city of oh Father that we shall be a shining city on the rock, on the hill of oh Father. We would just want to thank you that even as they go back, oh Father, you cover them with the journey masses. Give them, give them that which, oh Lord, they have put in their hearts and ask to, that together as we marry them together, oh Father, there's unity in, in, in power of marriage, oh Father. You said that where two or three are gathered, Father, there you are in their midst. And everything that has been discussed here, we've realized that there's a power of the Holy Spirit that has united us so strongly. Help us that to come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. I do you love me still, or do you just me?